Hey everyone, this is the fourth video of our Selenium Grid using Docker series and today we are going to discuss about Dynamic Grid. So Dynamic Grid simply put can be understood by a simple definition like whenever your tests are there, whenever a test execution is going on, only at that time the browser containers and video containers will be running. So once your test started, your browser container will come into the picture after some time when the driver session is up your video containers will come into the picture once your test is completed the video containers and the browser containers will shut down automatically right before it like what we were doing we were first uh, like defining all the containers in docker compose file browser and video uh, then we were making a command docker compose up so that our browser container and video containers are up and running then we were executing the test and once our test cases uh, were executed completely then we were stopping those containers by docker compose down so now the second thing is like how it is beneficial it like kind of uh, enhance the efficiency of a system because uh, you will not see unnecessary containers running on your system right now let us see how we can implement it so to implement it first we need a tuml file and this is the content of that tuml file what does it has so it has like these are the three images we have firefox image chrome image and edge image and then we have a capability of browser name defined here Right, so this is one component of this file config. The second is uh, you provide a URL. So this URL, if you see here, basically this is the URL of your uh, Docker. Once you go to the setting part, and here you see this expose uh, daemon on this particular URL and port. So this is the Docker daemon port. Uh, address that is required to be put here so why this is required because on basis of this only there is a particular file uh, a particular another container node container which will come into the picture docker node container so that docker node container will communicate through this docker daemon and then run these particular images on dynamic basis then this is the video image for uh, recording the video and this is also the container which will be handled by the same daemon node uh, same docker node only right so this is one file which is required and when i showed you this like you need to make sure like this option is enabled uh, by default if you have docker desktop in your system this will be unchecked so you need to check it and uh, restart the docker uh, desktop the second thing is uh, you need a docker compose file which uh, we already have here let me quickly show you that file so this is the file docker compose file and what does it uh, has it has your selenium hub right one thing and then this is your docker node that i was talking about so basically this docker node is responsible for starting the containers whenever they require to be there and also this will stop the containers whenever your test will be executed completely this uh, communication is done through this particular address that we were discussing about right now let us discuss about the implementation part so you can directly copy the tuml file and the docker compose file into the source code which i have already done like this is my tuml file and this is the docker compose file so here i have made some changes those changes are first of all like uh, as per my project structure where is my config.tml file so i have uh, marked that location here and similarly where is my videos con uh, like video folder where i download where i want uh, the videos to be stored and apart from that nothing else has been changed here right so the next thing is there is one capability that you need to define for enabling this video recording in our third video that was not required because in docker compose file we were we already had given the enough information but with this version 
of toml file and the new docker compose file we need to have a capability defined and that capability is like let me show you yeah this is that capability so we need to define this uh, sc and record video as true only then the video will be recorded okay and apart from that uh, i did make some change in the core structure to enabling addition of uh, these capabilities um, i like uh, use this particular class so that all of these because all of these firefox option chrome option and edge options are kind of uh, inheriting from this particular class so this was able to hold the object of all of these three and then this particular class also had the method to set the capability so I have used this class instead of our previous version of code and I will again push this code to the github repo and you can refer it from there and these were all the changes that were required and now once we go to our testng.xml file here what I have done I have like we have three test cases one for Firefox one for Edge and one for Chrome and here we have a parallel execution with a thread count of three and let me check if uh, we will have the docker yeah so as of now you can see there is no container up and running even let us track it from here from docker desktop and i will quickly show you uh, okay so as of now here we do not have any container so what I'll do, I will say docker compose up. So this particular file has two images defined. One is uh, selenium hub and then docker node. So a network is created selenium docker underscore one and there are these two containers which are there. So you see here it is mentioned that node has been added and apart from that if we'll go to here we have the image references running capability so we have firefox here uh, we have chrome here and we have microsoft edge here but uh, these are not the containers which are up and running as of now let me show you from here like if you see uh, we have this is the network and only two containers are there if I show you through the command as well so only two containers are up and running so now once we go to our selenium grid so here you see uh, these particular uh, nodes have been added as a stereotypes right so whenever these uh, stereotypes simply put can be understood by the fact like whenever these uh, nodes will be required only at that time these will come into the picture instead of you remember like we were having a different node for firefox different for chrome and different from edge here we have all these three uh, defined in the same place so this is stereotypes and as of now we do not have any session and let me execute the test so we'll keep an eye on these running containers as of now there are just two first we will have three browser containers up and running uh, here they are and then uh, once the driver will start on these containers we will have the video containers up and running as well so in total there will be eight running containers right so if i go to the selenium grid now we'll keep an eye on the sessions
So the fire, uh, Chrome and Edge sessions have started and let us wait for Firefox as well. And we have the Firefox session started as well. And if we go and check our containers, those are running. Test has started. Second test has also started here. And the third uh, has also started. Right? Chrome, Firefox, and Edge. We'll just wait till the execution is completed. And we'll keep an eye on these containers like this will be stopping automatically once our test execution is completed. So containers have started to go down and here we see all the containers are down. There is no active session and our tests have passed as well. And if we see the videos that have been recorded, if we go here under the video folder, here we have these videos which have been created right so we can see the video for each of the browser which was there so now we are done with the agenda of the day and in case you guys are liking the content that i'm making please do like and subscribe and do share it with your qa friends as well see you in the next video thank you